Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to go back over how to switch from the classic UI to the modern UI. As Acumatica 2025 R1 rolls out, Acumatica continues to make more progress in getting the user interface developed. Now, what that means for many people is that more and more screens have been converted or have the option to show the modern UI. So the first thing is, is you need to make a change in your web.config file. Now, if you're not hosting Acumatica yourself, you'll need to either ask Acumatica if they could turn it on for you so you could test it. If you are hosting Acumatica, then what you want to do is search for the modern UI. Click on the help topics. Click on getting started. Any one of these will work and then expand, and you'll see the option of switching of a form between the modern UI and the classic UI. So this is the key you wanna to add to your web.config file. Additionally, there's an option, if you install Acumatica using the wizard, the Acumatica wizard that essentially publishes Acumatica into your internet information server on a Windows server, if you check this box, it will automatically put that switch in for you. Before I continue, only 15% of you are subscribed. Hit that subscribe button now to get notified about new videos and events. But once you do that, if you go into your site map, The site map has every single menu item in Acumatica listed here. You could search at the top. But what we're looking at is the menu option and then what is the URL for it. So what you see here is I have modern UI turned on for just about everything. And here you could see Acumatica switch to an HTML file from an ASPX file. But what you can do here is you can either double click on the particular sitemap entry and change it, or you can use this button and it'll globally switch everything, everything that's been converted so far to the modern UI, or you can go back to the classic UI. But there is an issue. When we're talking about the dashboards, and if we filter here and search on dashboard, we'll check only dashboard. Notice all of my dashboard sitemap entries are set to classic. But that's because I changed them back to classic manually. And that's because this doesn't work yet. The dashboards I've confirmed have not been set up yet. So what you want to do, if you use this button, it's great because it'll switch over hundreds and hundreds of screen menus over to the modern UI. But you'll need to filter by dashboard and switch the dashboard items back over. If you don't, then what you'll end up getting is a blank screen for the dashboards as they just won't load. But as you can see here, if I go to any of these other screens, the modern UI is completely converted. You can see it's nicely formatted using the new user interface. And because I'm still on classic, if I open up a dashboard entry, you can see it works great. But again, if I go back to the sitemap and look for my AR clerk, I change that to modern. And then I'll take this screen and I'll refresh. Notice we end up with a blank screen. So if you're experiencing an issue when you first install Acumatica or if you switch to the modern UI and you can't find your dashboards, go back and switch them to classic for now so that you can use them. Now, this is just preview one that I'm looking at. Preview two or the, the beta of 2025 R1 may in fact have this all taken care of. There's no timelines yet, but I believe the goal is that we should be able to test the full modern UI in 2025 R1. Having a choice going between classic and modern until eventually the classic UI goes away. And it will go away. The classic user interface will need to go away as Acumatica starts to use some of these screens and add some functionality to them 
that we currently can't support. So that's the modern UI and your conversion over. Just keep that in mind. This button is great, but it doesn't work yet for the dashboards. I'll have to turn those back to classic. And continue to test. If you're using the, the beta or the preview, continue to test. And if you see issues with the user interface or anything in Acumatica, the preview or the beta, be sure to report those issues to Acumatica. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching this video on the modern UI. If you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.